Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing a, a very special reading for you. So this is the shift of Mercury retrograde from Virgo into Leo, which is going to be, it's going to play havoc on us. And I want us to be as prepared as possible. So I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below. And I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Taurus, let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Fantastic. Let me just make sure everything is in frame and you can see it all. Perfect. 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 So let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a butterfly in the comment box below. Make sure you like, comment the butterfly and subscribe. That puts you in the, in the running. There we go for, for a free reading. And let's see here what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. This is enhanced reverse. This Mercury retrograde, we really do feel like it dims us a little bit. And we're not necessarily going to be wrong because it brings out a lot of like us being neurotic, us being really harsh on ourselves, overthinking, overanalyzing. So be aware when enhanced comes reversed. It's not like not enhancing our emotions. It's feeling like we are dimmed a little bit. So just being aware of that, just, you know, acknowledging it and then saying, you know what? No, I reject. I reject that I'm going to be dimmed by a Mercury retrograde. I own my power. Let's see here what our chakra messages, angels and spirit guides. Oh, I love this. It is spiritual awakening and life purpose. You're going to get really annoyed by this Mercury retrograde. You just are. Okay. Seriously, this Mercury retrograde is in Virgo from the 5th of August to the 13th. All right. And that makes us, it makes us hypercritical, nitpicky. It makes us overthink and, and completely stressed out. So embracing our, our crown chakra, and stepping into spiritual awakening is going to combat that. Now it can open up the veil and overwhelm us. So we can be sitting there and thinking, oh my gosh, now I have so much to, to focus on, to concentrate on, to, to step into, to get done. And it's, and it's never going to be perfect. Take perfect off the table with Virgo energy. Okay. Taking perfect off the table is so liberating. So if you have Virgo in your chart, Virgo is a wonderful, wonderful sign, right? Hardworking, dedicated, diligent, dots the I's, crosses the T's, make sure everything is just right. But Virgo also has really exacting standards. So embracing our spiritual awakening, embracing our life purpose, which isn't to be perfect, but it's to have a really good, enjoyable life. 
that is going to be really important here. Embracing our throat chakra, speaking our life purpose forward, saying what is fun for us, what is joyous for us, that is going to be a very important thing. It moves us then to the energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides. Show them clearly. Ah, <laughs> as everything falls. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Ooh, okay, so we have two. So yeah, the Queen of Cups, when it is reversed, when it's to be mindful of, it's very naggy energy, okay? It's very nitpicky. You can do a million things right and you will still be told you did something wrong. So just being aware of this and everything wanting to move so fast. Everything, we are not going to be patient with ourselves. And this person especially, you have this, you know, naggy, nothing's good enough, nothing meets my expectations energy, wants everything to be done in a fourth of the time that it will actually take to do something. So it's completely unrealistic. And we're going to look at things and being a good Torian energy, we're going to sit there and say, well, I have to get this done, I have to move this forward. You are also going to have to stand up for yourself and say, that's impossible. Or you know what, we need to rethink this time scale because it's just going to lead to burnout. So being aware of this during this time is going to be a very important thing, especially if we tend to do this to ourselves, say like, oh, I can get this done so much faster, or I can do this, you know, I can, I, like kind of like we want to cut corners during this time don't do it slow and steady wins the race is going to be very important here we have the five of cups reversed when we're crowned with that energy we then have the three of cups reversed we have the fool in the upright position the six of cups reversed the lovers reverse which is gemini energy so if we're born on the cusp with gemini if we have gemini in our chart the time frame of may 21st to june 20th we then have the death card, which is Scorpio energy time frame October 23rd to November 21st. We have temperance, which comes right after, you know, it's Sagittarius energy, which comes right after Scorpio energy. And so that is November 22nd to December 21st. So I love how these energies go into each other. We then have the sun. Oh, I love this for you. Huge shift coming in. The ten of cups. Yes, huge shift. The nine of wands reversed. And the five of swords. Oh my goodness gracious you know, great balls of fire. I love this. I love this right here, this line. Okay. This is what you're going through here. You are coming out of a very difficult time here, here Taurus. So being aware of that is going to be important to note and to, you know, show yourself respect over. But when this shifts, all right, when this Mercury retrograde in Virgo shifts to being a Mercury retrograde in Leo, we, we get overwhelmed by the drama. We just, we get overwhelmed by the drama period and the discussion we're not really a sign that really likes it we're going to be more comfortable in the virgo part of mercury retrograde than we are going to be in the leo part of mercury retrograde so being aware of that from the 13th of august to the 9th of september mercury retrograde is in leo this is over the top energy this is you know this is everything being over the top drama huge misunderstandings that come in that are like oh my gosh you know what the heck is going on here mixed signals you know ego clashes being aware of that with the five of cups reversed we're finding it very hard to change the way that we're looking at things we want to see things in a very certain light we had a very certain idea embracing a change like kind of you know going off script is not going to be something that we feel very comfortable with and this mercury retrograde kind of brings that energy forward it's like i don't feel comfortable going off script not having a plan kind of winging it and yet we're going to be forced to as as you know mercury retrograde shifts from virgo to leo with the three of cups reversed and the six of cups reversed there is an energy coming forward of past hurts and pains from people i really trusted i really thought would be on my spot my side especially exes okay especially ex romantic partners we are going to find that their voice kind of comes into the back of the, our head and wiggles up like a little worm, making us doubt ourselves, making us fear, making us think we can't do X, Y, Z. And it has us doubting that we can have love in our lives, not just romantic love, friendship, love, love of career, love of anything. It's like, do I even deserve this? And the fool is, is standing here trying to break us out of this jail of our own minds and say, it's time for a new beginning. It's time for a new start. It's time to jump. And what happens is that we start to listen. So what happens is we look at the drama, we look at the trauma of it all, and we say goodbye to you, goodbye to this. And we take that leap of faith. And as we take that leap of faith, we start to embrace our happiness and we start to see the things that we love. 
It's not the things everybody else loves. It's the things that we love. We're finding ourselves stepping back into balance with ourselves and a dying way of the old self, a rebirth of the new, a greater understanding of where we want to be individually. We're not fighting all the time. That's going to be a really hard thing to come to the understanding of during this Mercury retrograde, where it's like, I'm not having this constant fight, this constant fight. I am stepping into my power and myself. People are going to want to fight with you, with you, Taurus. They just are. They're going to want to fight. They're going to want to tell you how it is that you should do this, how it is that you should do that. You would once have folded. You would once have said, you know what? You're right. I'm wrong. Let's move forward. But here, you're not the same person that you were. And you're standing in your power. You're standing in what you want. And you're saying, this is the way I want to create things. Mercury retrograde also brings out words that we wouldn't say, actions that we wouldn't take because you know, we want to keep everything copacetic. You know, we want to keep everything harmonized. But in a Mercury retrograde, it's kind of like things are free fall anyway. <laughs> like, you know, things are, are going up in the air. So now it's time to say what needs to be said. Now it's time to move forward in a way that says, I'm choosing me. I'm moving forward to me. Now, if you have Scorpio energy in your chart, Sagittarius energy in your chart, this comes through very powerfully and very beautifully. So being aware of that, Scorpio and Sagittarius energy is also going to be very comfortable for you to be around. You might find Gemini's to just be completely exhausting. So just be aware of that during this time. You can also find people to be very two-faced. They don't have to be Gemini's, but you're going to find that you're dealing with a lot of two-facedness. You're dealing with a lot of like, it's like subtle sneakiness. Like this person thinks they're much more sneaky than they actually are. So being aware of that as well is going to be very important. But embracing what you love, embracing your talent, letting yourself shine, finding harmony within yourself and making time every single day for harmony. And to know that things are transforming, you are transforming and you are embracing what you love within your life. So that is going to be a very big thing with the with the five of swords. You are conquering battles that would have set you back before. They just would have. So during this shift and during the shift in perception, we have to be able and have to, you know, is a strong word to use or a strong phase to use, but getting stuck and saying, but it needs to be just like this. I had a vision. I had an idea. Like it needs to be just the way I imagined it. We need to have more flexibility during this time. It will make us come out of the Mercury retrograde, not shattered. If we do not have flexibility within the Mercury retrograde, okay, especially within the shift from Virgo, from nitpicky, you know, kind of being more in our mind to then the drama that we step into when it shifts into Leo, we are just going to feel wounded. So being aware of this, stepping into our power, letting ourselves shine, that's going to be really important. It moves us to our subconscious energy from spirit. Here we have tenacity reverse. We can just feel like we're not as tenacious as we usually are. We were not as, you know, go get them as we, as we used to be. This isn't true. We are traversing a very tricky time. We're going to expect a lot from ourselves and stepping back and then just being proud of what we have achieved, how we have achieved, how we have moved forward. That's going to be really, really, really important here. It moves us then to our chakra message, which is our soul star chakra located six inches above our crown, angels and masters, angels and spirit guides. Our angels are protecting us. This Mercury retrograde shift will not be as, as overwhelming for us as it will be for others. We kind of shake it off just a little bit, a little bit more quickly than others do, knowing that that's because our angels are connecting it with us. And we have that powerful, you know, lifeline to spirit during this time is super important. Be mindful here of the Lord, which is Aries energy time frame, March 21st to April 19th. So if we have Aries in our chart, if we have Aries, you know, in our lives, or if we're born on the cusp with Aries, just be mindful of this energy. We might not get along with it the best. We can find it very tyrannical. It's like, I want what I want when I want it. And we can find this energy very petulant, like a little child. Now, if this person is a little child, just know that they're going to be inclined towards temper tantrums. And we can be more understanding with that, with them being little. If this person is an adult, adult, we are not going to be as accepting. So just be aware of that. We, this is tyr tyrannical energy that wants you to do what it wants you to do. Like you need to follow these rules this way, just like this. And spirit is saying here, be mindful about this. Be mindful of somebody coming in and thinking that they're the powerhouse. They're the, you know, absolute authority on because they're not an authority on our lives. So just being aware is going to be important. It moves us then to our energy 
our tarot energy, subconscious, and it's the King of Swords reversed. And that definitely plays into the Lord energy reversed. This can also play into the, the energy of an ex that comes forward, somebody who's very tyrannical, somebody who your arguments always had to be super logical if you were to disagree with them, but they didn't have to be super logical. So just being aware of that during this time, something can be very triggering during this time that makes you feel like you're back in that space. You're not. So understanding this and showing yourself kindness and, and respect is going to be important. All right, Taurus, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Taurus, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. And have a safe and secure Mercury retrograde. Bye.